Hello and welcome to climbingoutbreast.com. I've got a great video for you today on how I personally wear my spurs because it's a little different from most people and how they wear their spurs. Um, but I first want to say a huge thank you for the support for this video coming from Chip Drop. So that's getchipdrop.com. If you've never even heard of Chip Drop or if you've never used the site, basically it does what it says in the tin. It is a place where you can find people that want wood chip. So you have wood chip, they want wood chip, you go and take it to them. If you go on getchipdrop.com, you'll see a map view on the screen. You find you you find the nearest one to you or the one that's on like the, the route back to the yard or whatever is the most convenient to you. And you go and drop some wood chip. Um, hey presto. It, and the, the beauty of, of chip drop is, you know, sometimes you might have to go and dump a load of wood chip during the day and you have to go back to the job site and the 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 dump site could be like 45 minutes away you go and get chipdrop.com and you could find one that's like five or ten minutes around the corner and you could save yourself so much time and then get back and get back to work and get the job finished up quickly um, so it's a fantastic site and it comes in really handy on specific job sites so go to getchipdrop.com or click the link in the YouTube description below and um, and you know sign up and use chip drop and see if you like it and I promise you you will find it useful for the right jobs it is fantastic service great idea um, so thank you for the guys at chip drop click the link in the description below and enjoy this video on how I use my spurs Hi and welcome to climbingalbris.com. In this video I'm going to talk about spurs. I often get asked by people why do I wear my, my a strap of my spur under the actual spur itself. So in this video I'm going to show you why. The regular way to wear your spurs is to put the strap just around the spur like that going over the top of this part of the, the actual spur so it's like it's, so it's above the spur itself um, and then you just crank it up as tight as you can to try not and let that spur move and then just put the upper strap that's gonna kind of clamp around the shin area and that's the, the traditional way to wear your spur one thing that really annoys me about wearing spurs is when the spur actually becomes loose after working, after being on them for a few minutes and starts to move around on the bottom of your foot and then you've got to re-tighten your spur and all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't, especially if you haven't got your, your spurs on too tight or if they become loose as you move around the tree, you'll find that that, that spur can, can work its way back. I'll just kind of get it on this log and the, as you get more movement it just it becomes less secure the spurs moving around way more than it should especially as you are using a chainsaw you don't want any uh, unexpected movement from around your boot somebody showed me like many many years ago of wearing the spur by putting the strap actually underneath the bottom of the spur the way that it, it applies the pressure it, it's kind of pulling up on, under on, on the bottom of the spur and it's pulling the shank of the spur into the bottom of your foot you'll find that it doesn't really ever move because especially when you've got you know that heel cut out in the middle um, that's where you want your, the shank and now because it's pulling up so much on the bottom it can't really move forward or backward like why why would I work with 
the spur giving it the option to work loose when I can just go under the spur and it never come loose. So that is why I wear my strap underneath the spur.